Immersive theater is a type of theater where instead of sitting uh, in front of a, a stage and audience chairs in a traditional theater space, the audience is around and inside the action. So sometimes you'll have immersive theater pieces that will take place um, in a, a dedicated set that the audience wanders through. And sometimes immersive pieces can take place in real locations. And that's the case with this show that we're doing, Hindsight. It's a site-specific immersive piece that takes place along the streets of downtown Salt Lake City. The show takes all sorts of modes of transportation. Audience members will be riding the bus, they'll be walking, they'll be taking tracks, and they'll be seeing all sorts of lovely sights along the way. There's five audience members per performance, uh, and we run two or three shows every evening on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights. The play is about two lovers falling in and out of love, and it is in many ways a rom-com, but it's got some interesting twists and turns along the way. Because it is immersive and because you are outside and you're following the actors around, you're really connecting not just with the audience, not just with your fellow actors, but with the city, with Salt Lake, which is really nice. So this isn't the first immersive piece that Sackerson has done. We did a, a piece about a year ago called Sonder, that took place um, in an abandoned nightclub, and we transformed three floors of this nightclub into an immersive piece where you followed these dancers along different storylines throughout a 90 minute show. For this particular piece, I think it's going to feel like being inside the set of a movie. Essentially, you're the camera, and you can get as close or as far away from the action as you want, but regardless of whether you're near or far, you'll be able to hear everything perfectly because you'll be wearing headphones that will pipe the sound from actor body mics directly to you. You can find more information at hindsightslc.com or sackerson.org.